Hello, it's Alina here from XM8 Mastery, and today's topic we're going to talk about how to add line items in your sketch. Now, I know a lot of you probably work off of Eagle View or some other measurement report, but if you do have a roof imported from Eagle View or have sketched a roof, there is a way to add all of your line items in one fell swoop in the sketch screen. So we're going to talk about that today. Let's go take a look. All right, so I'm in an estimate and I'm in the sketch main tab, as you can see here on my screen. Now I close all of the windows that are surrounding a sketch like this because I want as much real estate as possible when sketching. However, when you close all those windows, it takes away where you can add the items to your sketch. So to bring up all of those windows again, I like shortcuts. It's Control Shift R on your keyboard. That'll bring up all the windows that went missing. If you're more of a tactile person, you like to look at icons. If you go to options and then visible windows at the top of the screen, that performs the same action. So I like to reset to default layout, brings up all four windows for me. And of course here, if you look in our screen, it says reset to default layout is control shift R. So two different ways to bring up those windows. Whenever you bring up the windows, you'll see a search screen at the top left corner. This search screen is just like the search screen over here in Estimate Items. So it's a mirror of what's going on up top of your Estimate Items screen in the search. It's a mirror of this here. If I click Home on Search in Estimate Items, you'll see there that it looks just like it does over in Sketch. So it's a mirror image. Today I've got a roof here and I'm going to go ahead and add some shingles to this roof. So I'm going to go and search for my category and selector code, or I could go ahead and just type in a keyword. So if I wanted to look for laminated roofing, I could look for the laminated shingle here. And we're going to use the line item with felt today, just for an example. I'm going to load that to my cursor. I'm going to hover near the roof here. If you notice that if I hover near only one slope, I can apply this to just one slope or one piece of the roof. That's hovering near these, these names, by the way. That's what causes that. If I hover near the main part of the roof, I can coat the whole roof with the shingles. So be careful where you're placing this. Know that the green area is where it's going to drop this line item. Okay, so I can left click once to place. That'll add the remove and replace shingle line item to my item list down here below. What if I want to take it off? That's fine. I can highlight the whole roof again. You'll notice that my cursor turned into a little recycle bin. I can left click once and that will remove that line item. However, the line item stays adhered to your cursor until you're finished with it. Whenever you're done with the line item, you can just hit escape on your keyboard and that will remove that line item and default your cursor back to an arrow again. All right, so that's how you can add all of your line items. I can go in here, I can find drip edge. I can hover over the roof here and it will auto calculate the perimeter of the roof. You can see right there. I can also do something really fun, which is bring up an item list and add a whole bunch of line items in one fell swoop. So let's say I have a main line item like our shingles. If you load that to your cursor and right click in blank space, it'll bring up a whole item list here, a nice Christmas wish list, if you will of line items that I can check off. So all of these accompanying line items that we would use, like ridge cap, uh, perhaps some sheathing if you wanted that, step flashing, uh, valley metal, all of these things I could check off that I need to go ahead and add with the line item of the shingle material. I can left click OK. When I hover and place this line item, it's going to add everything that I checked off. So that's pretty cool. It's different than a macro, right? Because a macro is a whole list of line items and we delete off what we don't need. This here, it'll place whatever I check off on that list onto our roof. So that's the difference between the two. And again, if you ever want to remove something, you just hover over the roof again, left click once, and that will remove those line items. So that's how you add items in Sketch. You can do this with the interior. You can do this with the roof. You can do this with your, if you want to go to your, your 3D modeling, you can add the line items here in 3D. There's all kinds of really fun things you can do. Play around with that and see if that saves you some time. This has been Alina Wilson with XM8 Mastery. For more information on XM8 Mastery, please visit our website at www.xm8mastery.com. Subscribe and like below if you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next week.